How has the present state of international relations evolved into its current form? Let's dive into the deep end and examine the complex situation unfolding in Eastern Europe, particularly Ukraine. Russia, a key player in this geopolitical chess game, has been pushing for densification, demilitarization, and a neutral status in Ukraine. That's right, it's not just about territorial control, but an intricate web of political maneuvering and power plays. To understand this, we need to highlight Russian demands, which include subjecting Ukraine to political control and limiting its sovereignty. This isn't just about land, it's about control. Now let's shift focus from Ukraine to Europe. Russia's demands extend beyond the borders of Ukraine and venture into the realm of European security. They're calling for a NATO troop withdrawal, a ban on nuclear weapons, and limitations on military activities. This isn't just a regional issue, it's a global one, with potential ramifications that could reshape the international landscape. But why is Russia pursuing these goals? The answer lies in Russia's perception of its security interests. Russia claims that NATO's enlargement, including the inclusion of Eastern European countries, poses a threat to its security. This concern has prompted Russia to seek restrictions on certain countries joining military alliances in an attempt to maintain influence over former Soviet Union states. In addition to these demands, Russia is also aiming to limit the effects of EU enlargement by demanding compensation and special regulations in energy policy. This is a clear indication of Russia's intent to maintain a strong foothold in the region and assert its influence on a broader scale. But how is the world reacting to these developments? From the Chinese perspective, Russian actions are seen as a positive development in dismantling the European security order. There's a concern that a NATO success against Russia could lead to a strengthened Pacific Alliance network against China. As we can see, the international landscape is being shaped by a host of factors, with Russia's ambitions playing a key role. As we delve deeper into this topic in the upcoming scenes, we'll continue to explore the intricate dynamics of this geopolitical chess game. In the midst of these developments, an alliance between Russia and China has emerged. But what does this alliance mean for the rest of the world? As the geopolitical landscape continues to shift and fluctuate, Russia and China have found common ground, forming an alliance that seeks to challenge the existing world order largely dominated by Western states. This union between the two nations goes beyond mere diplomatic pleasantries or economic collaborations. It's a strategic partnership aimed at undermining the European security order, a system that has been in place since the end of the Second World War. A key declaration signed between these two powerful nations signifies their intent. This document, a symbol of their shared vision, is an open challenge to the established order. It's their manifesto for a new world, one where they hold the reins of power. This alliance is their preparation for a systematic dismantling of the European order, a structure that has long been a thorn in their side. From the Chinese perspective, Russian actions are seen in a positive light. They view these moves as necessary steps towards dismantling the European security order, an order that has often been perceived as favoring Western interests over those of the East. The Chinese see this as a move towards a more balanced world, a world where the East has as much say as the West. But this alliance is not without its concerns. The rest of the world watches in anticipation and anxiety. The collaboration between these two nations could significantly alter the global balance of power. It's a development that could potentially disrupt the relative peace and stability that the world has enjoyed since the end of the Cold War. In the grand scheme of things, the alliance between Russia and China is not just a regional concern, it's a global one. It's a partnership that could redefine international relations and rewrite the rules of global politics. This alliance between Russia and China, therefore, is not just a regional concern, but a global one. So, what exactly are Russia's aims and demands on Ukraine and the European security order? Let's delve into this. Russia's primary aim is to neutralize Ukraine. This means preventing it from becoming a member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, and hindering its integration with the European Union. Instead, Russia favors steering Ukraine towards Eurasian integration. This is a strategic move to maintain influence over its former Soviet Union sibling. One of Russia's key demands is for Ukraine to enter its integration structures, such as the Customs Union, which is controlled by Russia. This is a clear attempt to subject Ukraine to political control, limiting its sovereignty and independence. But Russia's ambitions don't stop at Ukraine's borders. They extend into the broader European landscape. 
Russia has been assertive in trying to limit the effects of EU enlargement. One way it has sought to do this is by demanding compensation and special regulations in energy policy. This is a strategic move that aims to protect Russia's interests and leverage in the energy sector, a vital aspect of the European economy. So, as we can see, Russia's approach is multifaceted. It's not just about securing its borders or maintaining influence over its neighbors, it's about reshaping the regional order, bending it to serve its own interests. It's clear that Russia's goals are not just about asserting its own security, but about reshaping the regional order. Where does the future of the China-Russia alliance lead? This collaboration, seemingly formidable, has a shared objective, dismantling the current world order dominated by Western states, particularly the United States. However, it's crucial to note that these two nations may diverge on tactics. For instance, Russia has shown a willingness to resort to nuclear blackmail, a move China might not be comfortable with. China, on the other hand, is treading more cautiously, aiming to steer clear of a global conflict scenario until it is fully prepared for such a showdown. The Middle Kingdom's strategy is more nuanced. They prefer to maintain the conflict in Europe at a low intensity, allowing them to manage their relations with the US on their own terms. However, the alliance's future isn't without its concerns. One such worry is that NATO's success against Russia could bolster the Pacific Alliance network against China. This could potentially disrupt China's plans and force it into a corner, leading to unforeseen consequences. But as with any geopolitical strategy, the landscape is ever-changing, and the actions of these two nations will continue to adapt as the circumstances dictate. What we can be certain of, though, is that the China-Russia alliance will continue to be a significant factor in shaping international relations. As they navigate these turbulent waters, their collective actions will undeniably influence the global stage. The future is uncertain, but one thing is clear. The China-Russia alliance will continue to shape international relations in the years to come.